In this short video compilation, I'll demonstrate techniques for nuclear dislocation and delivery when performing M6 surgery. In each case, the rexus has already been performed. This first video is a mature white lens. Using the Chang cannula, I'm performing hydrodissection and at the same time rotating the lens nucleus. I'm also applying a little bit of downward pressure at the edge of the lens and this allows the opposite edge to prolapse up into the anterior chamber. This next case is a more brunescent lens. A large capsular rexus has already been performed. I'm using the same technique with the Chang cannula to perform hydrodissection and lens rotation at the same time. In addition, there's some downward force at the edge of the lens which allows prolapse of the other edge up into the anterior chamber. Once the lens has been prolapsed into the anterior chamber, I use BSS on a 27 gauge cannula to bring the lens into the scleral tunnel. A lens loop is then used to remove the lens from the eye. This next case is another brunescent lens, but proves slightly more difficult to rotate into the anterior chamber. Here again, I'm using the balanced salt solution on a Chang cannula to perform hydrodissection. And then using that Chang cannula while injecting BSS to try to rotate the lens. This lens is less dense than the previous ones and the Chang cannula is cutting into the lens more so than rotating it. But as I am persistent here and try rotating in the other direction, Eventually an edge comes up and I'm able to grasp that with the Chan cannula. Again, I get underneath the lens with some BSS and prolapse the lens into the anterior chamber. This last case is another mature lens with a smaller pupil. The Chan cannula is used to perform hydrodissection and also place some downward pressure on the edge of the lens. And the hooked edge of the Chan cannula is useful here in grasping the lens and pulling it into the anterior chamber. 